Hi everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Queen Inc. And today on Saturday Granny, we're going to learn how to make a heart out of a granny square. That is correct, yes. Um, I figured out this pattern about a couple of days ago and I'm going to make this into a cardigan. So it'll be like a heart cardigan. It'll be really awesome and really, really cool. So let's get started. If you're wondering where I have been for a couple of weeks, maybe several weeks, uh, I'm actually moving and I've been working a lot of hours and so I haven't been around. So apologies for that. Um, I'm gonna try and make as many videos I can before I move. We're moving this month in June. Uh, right at the very end, so just to let you know, you may not see any videos right at the end of June, so just to let you know. All right, so let's get started with the tools. Alrighty, so the tools that you are going to need for this project is going to be Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, and this is going to be 10 ounces, 283 grams, 482 yards, and 440 millimeters, and this is going to be in the color Violet. And as you can see, there's a multiple colors of this violet color from uh, light purple to dark purple. And I really, really like this color. And I bought a lot of different balls of this color to make this beautiful cardigan. You're also going to need, this is a six millimeter crochet hook. Oops, excuse me. Six and a half millimeter crochet hook, size K. This one's my boy. A crochet hook. You're also going to need a needle with a large eye hole and a pair of scissors to cut in to cut off all your strings and sew them in. Alrighty so let's get started on how to make this beautiful heart. Okay in order to start this project you are going to make a slip knot so I'm going to wrap the yarn around my finger, pull the yarn behind that loop and then pull right through with my finger to make a new loop. Okay, and then you're gonna put your hook onto that, put that loop onto your hook, and then you're going to chain four. In order to chain four, you're going to yarn over and pull through, pull up some slack. That's one, two, three, and four. And you should have a chain of four, one, two, three, and four. And into that very first stitch right there, that chain, I'm gonna open it up, put my hook right in there, grab my working yarn and pull through, and pull through for a slip stitch. Move your yarn tail right out of the way. Now we're gonna be working right into that circle. So you're going to chain one, and you're gonna put three double crochets all into that circle. So you're gonna yarn over, go into your circle, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And I'm gonna make two more. One. And two. Now this pattern is gonna be a little bit differently. Normally when you do a granny square, you can chain two or you can chain one. This one is going to be a heart. So on the side, you're gonna chain one. And then for the bottom of the heart, you're gonna chain two. And I'll show you what that means once we get there. So for right now, we're gonna chain one because this is going to be the side of the heart. Then we're gonna go back into that circle for three more double crochets. Give me one second, my yarn is pulling. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Two and three. And Sonia is gonna come into the video because she has not been in this video or a lot of my videos since um, I haven't put one up in a while. So here she is right up where my finger is. She's just hanging out and saying hello. Once you've put three double crochets into that circle and you have your chain one, now you're gonna chain two because this is gonna be the bottom of your heart. So one and two, go back into that circle for three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Now I'm gonna do five rows with you. So this will be row number one. Okay, so now that's what it should look like. You should have a chain one here and a chain two here. Now you're gonna chain one because that'll be the next side of your heart and you're just gonna put three more double crochets 
all into that circle. And that will finish off row number one, two, and three. And here she is for petting. And there we go. And that is row number one. That is what your beautiful little heart should look like. You have two chain ones on each, each of the sides and then a chain two on the bottom. Let's start on row number two. Alrighty, so we are back for row number two and Sonia is still on the desk right here. So for row number two, you're gonna chain one and you're gonna turn your work. Now you're gonna pull one double crochet into that double crochet from the previous round. You're gonna skip over, <clears throat> excuse me. You're gonna skip over to the chain one and put three double crochets, chain one, and three double crochets all into that stitch so that way we can keep that pattern going. Sorry if you hear that noise, that beeping in the background. Um, someone is backing up. I have my window open because it's a nice cool day. Chain one and three double crochets all back into that same stitch. Now this is the pattern that you will follow um, as you keep growing your little heart. Now I'm doing five rows um, because that's what I want for my cardigan and I'm making a whole bunch of hearts. Now that you're at the bottom of your heart, you're going to yarn over, go into that chain two spacing for three double crochets chain two and three double crochets. You will repeat row number two over and over and over again, but the thing that you'll have to understand is, is as you grow your heart, you will have spacings like this, so you will not be doing three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. This will just be a three double crochet. Okay, and then we're gonna chain two and put three more double crochets all into that stitch. Now you gotta think of this as a three quarters of a granny square because we are cutting off a section right here on the granny square. Okay, once you have made three double crochets, chain two, you will skip over your next three double crochets right here, go into that chain one space, and you will put three double crochets, chain one, and three double crochets all into that corner space. And the reason why you're doing the chain one is to keep that looking like a heart. Okay, and then we're gonna pull that back. We're going to chain one and put three more double crochets all into that cool spacing. Two and three. Okay, and then into the very last stitch on the very end right here, you're just gonna put one double crochet. So what you do on one end of your heart, such as this one over here, where you put one double crochet, at the end you will always put one double crochet. That was round number two. This is what your heart is starting to look like. We're now gonna be working on round number three. Alrighty, so we are back for round number three. Let me see if I can get my yarn to quit pulling. Okay, so for round number three, you're going to chain one, you're going to turn your work and into that very first stitch, you're gonna put one double crochet. Now this one you will also repeat as well. Into that spacing, you're gonna put two double crochets because we want that anchor. I can grab it real quick, there we go. You'll put two double crochets into that spacing, one double crochet into the double crochet from the previous round. She is in my light, I'm so sorry. She has been waiting for me to record for many, many weeks. All right, and then again into that chain one space, you're gonna put three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets. Let's take a break for a minute. Let's take a look at her. <clears throat> so she is right there, just looking around with her big, beautiful blue eyes. There's my Sonia. She has been waiting for this moment for so, so long. There she is. Alrighty, so we are back and Sonia is off the desk. Okay, so now we did that one double crochet. We just need two more 
double crochets into the spacing. Sorry, you're going to hear my husband talking. He's watching TV. Uh, and then you're going to do a chain one and then three double crochets all into that spacing. Just like this. Okay, and that is the side of the heart right there. And then next you're going to go into the next spacing. Now here we are not doing any chaining. We're just yarning over and going straight into the spacings to make our double crochets. You can chain in between each of the spacings if you would like. I just don't like to do it because it gives you too much spacing in between right here. And I want it more tight knit. Okay, so you'll put three double crochets in there and then to the next chain two spacing, you will put three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets all into that same spacing. Two and three. Okay, and into your next spacing, you're going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, and into your next spacing, you're going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. A chain one and three double crochets. So the chain one sections are always going to be the sides of your heart. So that way we can kind of have that, that, uh, I don't know what you would call those, those bumps on the side of the heart. So that way it actually looks like a, a heart. And then now that we're at the end in this section right here, you're going to put two double crochets into the spacing, one and two, and then you always want that anchor. So you want to turn your work towards you like this, and right where you see that stitch, you're going to put one double crochet right into there, just like that. Okay, and that is what round number three should look like. Now we're going to be working on round number four. Okay, so we are back for round number four. So for round number four, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and into that very first double crochet, you're going to put a double crochet right into there. And then you're going to skip over these two double crochets and into the spacing, you're going to put three double crochets. One, two, sorry, my yarn keeps splitting. Two, and three. Oh, split again. Yikes. There we go. And if you're wondering why I'm having a little bit of problems, um, I hurt my finger at work. So as you can see, there's a big bruise compared to this one right here. Yep, it is the middle finger. So I'm having a little bit of problems uh, kind of crocheting. All right, so into the next spacing right here, you're going to put three double crochets. And two, and three, a chain one, and three double crochets all into that spacing, two, and three. And then of course in the next two spacings you will put three double crochets in each. until you get to the bottom of the heart. Okay, 
and three. And there you go. And that's what it should look like. And then once you get down to the bottom of the heart, right there, that's going to be your chain two. You're going to put three double crochets. Chain two, one, two, and three double crochets all into that spacing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, you'll repeat your sides. So you'll put three double crochets into each of those. I'll meet you right here in just one moment. Alrighty, so we're back. So once you put your three double crochets into each of the two spacings, into the next spacing right there, you're gonna put three double crochets. chain one and three double crochets all into that chain one spacing and you'll always do that for the sides of your heart okay and then next into the spacing right here you're gonna put three double crochets one two and three and again, that's my watch tapping on the desk. And my chair just hit the desk. And you'll find your very last double crochet. And you'll put one double crochet right into there. And that will be row number four. And in order to count your rows, you can start down here at the very bottom. Count these three double crochets as row one. This one double crochet is row number two row number three and row number four and then of course we'll be working on row number five okay so we are back for row number five and I think at this point you kind of get the gist of how this pattern works this will be our last row so you're gonna chain one as always turn your work and you're gonna put one double crochet into the double crochet from the previous round just like this into the spacing you're going to put two double crochets and two just like that skip over the three double crochets and into the next spacing put three double crochets two and three then when you get to your corner stitch right here, which you should know from the previous round, you're going to put three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets. Turn your work until you get to your side piece right here. You'll put three double crochets into each of the three spacings that you have made. And when you get to the bottom of your heart right here, which should be your point, you'll put three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, Turn your work to the side, three double crochets into each of the spacings. When you get to your corner, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. You'll have your side again, three double crochets, and then I will meet you right here at the very end. I will see you in just a few moments to finish off. Alrighty, I am back and I made it back around. Um, we are on the round five so now we have to do is put two double crochets into that space one and two okay and then you'll find your very last stitch right here on the end sometimes you have to turn it and you'll put one double crochet right into that double crochet from the previous round then you'll take your scissors and you will cut your yarn and then you will yarn over and pull through and pull through and tighten and that is your five rows of the heart granny square heart i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to scroll down hit that like button to let me know that you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more tutorials such as this one and others I will do in the future, um, don't forget to subscribe so that way you don't ever miss when I put out a new video. 
And until next time, everybody, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for viewing this video. I really appreciate it. And thank you all again. And until next time, bye-bye, everybody.